Uh, thank you very much, and thanks for the opportunity to be here. Um, I will just give a little bit of background about uh, who I am. My name is Jeremy Britton, and I manage the student desk in UCD. So uh, we deal with students um, in relation to primarily the administrative side of their life cycle through UCD. So queries about exams, uh, registration fees, etc. Um, I would be the student desk itself is kind of swimming in data about students and their interactions with us. We uh, have a, a system which uh, Marie from the library spoke about earlier uh, called UniShare, in which we log all of our interactions with students. Um, so we have a breakdown of who's been to see us when, what their query was, um, obviously what program they're associated with, etc. And uh, I've been, over the last few years, using that information to kind of improve and enhance the services that the student desk provides. So when um, Lee decided to leave, uh, he uh, thought that Ian might be a natural fit in the remit of the student desk, given the experience with the data that we've been using so far. Um, and, uh, and when, when Lee said that kind of everyone here is standing on the shoulders of giants, I feel that that's true in a sense in that Lee may not be a giant in any sense, but uh, he, uh, he certainly did a huge amount of work on Ian and now it's, it's with me. So Ian is the Integrated Assistance Nexus. Ne Nexus. Um, it is a platform through which uh, you can find students, basically find students who are at risk. Um, and, 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 uh, and then what you do with that information is actually one of the questions that, that I'm asking myself at this point or that we're asking ourselves. Um, there's a very kind of movie tagline type thing there which you have to read in that voice of the guy, you know, what if you could change one thing at just the right moment? Um, it's, it's very dramatic, but it is that feeling. You know, a lot of what, I think an awful lot, and I'm getting the impression today that an awful lot of what we're talking about here in many senses deals with kind of people's attitudes, people's feelings towards things, uh, specifically around, you know, we're all pretty comfortable with the idea of, it, of that data is a good thing and that we can use it to improve and enhance, etc. Uh, but then someone like uh, Philip comes up and talks about the fact that he's tracking people on their Wi-Fi and wireless and where they are. And there are some people kind of go, Ugh. Uh, but some people would do the same Ugh, when they find out that we're tracking students and what we're doing about that. So an awful lot of it is feelings and kind of getting over that. And that's, again, one of the challenges that I'll talk about. But um, I may as well move on to that now. So the, op the opportunities is, like, I think Ian looks at about 15,000 pieces of information, pieces of data for a student, and then breaks it down into these five flags. Um, and using that, you can then determine how to proactively assist the student. Uh, so the volume of data that we have as an institution is enormous. Uh, everyone's kind of spoken about disparate systems and how do you get those systems to match up and talk to each other and obviously that's a problem that we have as well but the sheer volume of data is a huge opportunity. Uh, obviously the potential for proactive support I've spoken about and, uh, and I think one of the opportunities as well is the possibility for student engagement. We don't have a student dashboard as it were so we don't really tell students that we're gathering this information. They are told that their uh, information will be used for pastoral care etc but uh, there's nothing really in terms of a student-facing dashboard, and I think that that's an opportunity. Uh, challenges is the same as everyone else. I mean, specifically for us, we don't really have that much of a buy-in from staff. It's being used by people who think the same way as everyone in this room thinks, uh, you know, proactively. But there's no there's no driving force behind it at the moment. Uh, but events like this and a change in the mindset and drives that that like this forum will will definitely assist in that. Uh, student buy-in as well, so showing it to the students and getting them involved from the from the outset. I think uh, we had I'd spoken to Lee about this and we had spoken about it before and if we were starting from scratch again I think we would involve students from the outset because it's it's one of those things that uh, we're not ashamed of the fact that we're doing it or trying to hide it at all but now that it's kind of done and we have this platform in place uh, it's kind of like they we have this thing that they don't know about that we can be using to help them so there's a perception there. And then the support thing versus the big brother so all this information that we're gathering, how we're using and what we're doing uh, about that and how it can seem, you know, it can give that ugh feeling. Um, so, I mean, next steps is after this, the, the last one is obviously the most important. This is a great opportunity. I've already um, had conversations with people at the table. An awful lot of the people from my table are UCD people who I'd never spoken to before. And that in and of itself has been extremely positive. Um, but just listening to the fact that we're all kind of at the precipice or you know, some of us more engaged than others, but the way that everyone is kind of on the same journey here is, is fascinating and it's really interesting and it's, it is a huge uh, opportunity um, in that. So uh, just to be able to meet and talk with, with different colleagues around here um, is, is great. 
Uh, and then obviously, as I said, implement. So I know some people here have student facing dashboards. I'll definitely be talking to you. Um, but it's, it's massively um, the potential of a group like this, the potential of getting involved kind of at the, at the ground level and, and, and kind of in a surge that's happening is, is really good. Um, so again, thank you for the opportunity for being here. And yeah, that's it.